Hello everybody and welcome to a highly anticipated episode of The Sexy Tablespoon. Today we are going to be making the holy grail of baking, in my opinion, gluten-free, vegan, oil-free, whole grain bread. As someone who has been vegan for 10 years and strictly gluten-free for most of those, I'd pretty much just given up on bread because let's be perfectly honest, most breads that are gluten-free and vegan are highly processed, they're not whole grain, and you could pretty much just use them as like construction material. This bread is everything I love about bread. It's hearty, delicious, so satisfying, and yes, it's moist. Maybe we should come up with another word like damp, but also warm. Oh, that's the worst word in the world. Let's get our mise en place together. So first thing first, you're gonna need your base for your bread. That's gonna be your grains. Like I said, this recipe is 100% whole grains, and I do actually mean like the real whole grain. I recently purchased this Vitamix dry grains. This thing is wonderful because it takes whole grains and it turns them into flour so fast. If you don't have one of these, um, before I got this, I was using our spice grinder to break it down. A food processor might work, but this is really ideal if you have the opportunity to get one. If you don't, you can just buy whole grain flour. It's not a big deal. Into the Vitamix, we are going to pour in one cup of brown rice. I use short grain brown rice. One cup of whole oat groats and one cup of rolled oats half a cup of millet, and half a cup of buckwheat. Buckwheat does have quite a strong flavor. It can taste like dirt if you're not a fan of the taste of dirt. You can just leave it out, replace it with oats, whatever works for you. Now let's blend this. Real talk, this thing is freaking loud. It's a little dangerous. So, you ready? Are you ready? suck a little bit hot though. Yeah, they get, it gets hot inside there. Once your flour is in the bowl, you are going to add your other dry ingredients. Now, since this is gluten-free flour, we have a couple of ingredients that are going to increase kind of like the, the stickiness and the plasticity of the bread. Those two ingredients are going to be ground flax seeds. I get four tablespoons of whole flax seeds and then I grind them up in our spice grinder. I suppose that you could just add it in with the flour when you grind that up, but I don't, whatever. And then the other ingredient that is going to help to bind your bread and make it really chewy and delicious and moist slash damp, but also warm, is psyllium husk powder. Make sure you get the powder and not the super chunky psyllium husk. All of these types of ingredients that might be a little bit hard to find are down below in the description. I use three tablespoons of psyllium husk powder. You're also going to add in half a teaspoon of salt, not more because salt slows down the activity of yeast. And then two tablespoons of a sweetener of your choice. We are using coconut sugar. Once all of your dry ingredients are inside the bowl, you can simply mix those guys up to combine them. Oh, I like your technique. What? You're doing the concrete mixing technique again, I think. Yeah. Why, is there any other ways to mix? Yes. Really? Just try to keep it inside the wheelbarrow, please. Oh, I got this. All right, we're ready for our wet ingredients. Baby, could yeah. you grab me the little rubber spatula? Could you talk any more clearer? It's actually more clear or clearer, <laughs> not both. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, oh my and God. we'll need the yeast. Now I'll need one tablespoon inside this pretty little thing. One sexy tablespoon? That's a sexy tablespoon in the pretty oh. little bowl. Okay, stop touching oh, things shit. that make noise. Oh. 
You're gonna have to act fast. I mean, you don't need to stress out about it, but let's not be twiddling <laughs> our thumbs. Stop it. Don't mess around, because once the water hits the psyllium husk powder, it's gonna get gunky really fast. You need to get yourself under control. So what we're gonna do, water goes in, and this is about three cups of water. And I think that's right. I don't usually tend to measure, so let's do this. Boom. Water goes in. Halfway through, you're gonna freak out and be like, oh my god, that's too much water. Just chill, we're fine. Blackstrap molasses goes in. This is optional, but I really like the way it makes the bread dough taste. Oh, wow. Spatulas just don't work with these leaf-shaped bowls. Get that out of my sight. And then into the water, you add one tablespoon of instant yeast. You don't want the slow acting yeast, you need the instant yeast, mm. okay? And then immediately start mixing. I know you wanna do this. Never stop mixing. <gasps> All day. Oh, how much more I gotta mix? It seems getting kinda tick. No, I just wonder. Like I'm bending the spoon, like. <laughs> is this right? Those are good spoon, babe. I think you're so funny. <laughs> Don't eat the dough. Oh. Wash your hands. So as Levi just demonstrated, it's not a good idea to eat this dough because it has active yeast in it and it can blow up your stomach. All right? That's what happened. So don't eat that. <laughs> that was the fake meat. The candy. But was the yeast all this time? You've never cooked with yeast before <laughs> and I know that for a fact. So this is gonna be much wetter than your average um, glutinous bread dough, okay? Don't worry about that, that's how it needs to be. That's how gluten-free doughs are. Also, with usual bread doughs that have gluten in them, you have to knead them a lot. They need several times to rise. That's not what this bread is like. So this will bring us <coughs> to our baking portion of the day. We got this beautiful bread maker for Christmas and that's what we've been using to bake the bread and I love, love, love it. And so it comes with this handy dandy um, insert pan. It is non-stick, you know, if you don't have a non-stick pan, good for you. Just make sure that it's oiled so your bread doesn't bake to the pan. Oh, that's a real thick dough. Oh, what? You know can handle. Yeah. <laughs> Super cherry are you? The way you make them. Well, if my spoon wasn't bent in half, it might have worked better. I told you, use a shovel. All right. I've noticed that uh, the bread maker doesn't really mix this dough all that well. It just kind of spins around a little bit in the bottom. Um, so that's why I pre-mix it inside the bowl. And then mm. I've also noticed that whatever my top looks like at this point, is the shape it's going to bake into. So we could do something funny with the top of it. What? I didn't realize that. Can you just make a bread? Yeah, I could just make a bread. Fine, if you wanna be boring around it. I all mean, right. what were you making all these other times? The surface of Mars. Didn't you notice? It looked like it. And then ironically, I don't use the gluten-free setting on this baby. I just use the quick bake setting, which I have found actually helps this to rise a little bit better. So let's plug it in. Thank you. It's heavy, yeah? Not for me. <laughs> Ultra fast. And half a pound. Then my color, we're going dark. And then we're gonna press, oh yeah, one and a half pound. Right. And now, there's nothing to do but wait.
super moist, damp, and also warm. Mm -hmm. And really hearty in the flavor. The flavor is so good, I almost hate to put anything on it. Oh my god. It's so good. Yeah, this was the first time I measured it, so I'm like legit relieved that it turned out. It turned out, yeah, pretty pretty good. You know, the shape is very dense. I'd say that's 30 pounds, maybe. So I made some sort of hummus with cannellini beans, one clove of garlic, mm -hmm. some garlic chives and oregano from our little herb garden. I'm gonna put that on top, and then we have some fresh veggies. And I've noticed that some sliced up almonds are really good with this bread. No. Yep, spit it out. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. All recipe details and such will be down in the description box below. So that will do it for us. I am going to eat literally this entire loaf of bread right now. Me, focus on me. And as always, until next time, make better choices for yourself. No one's gonna do it for you and take really, really good care. I will see you guys so soon. Q bloopers. I think I look sexy in this. <laughs> Nobody looks sexy in this one. Looks like I'm a plane. The water to this, because the psyllium husk, that's baking powder. I need yeast. That's wasabi. You know like how when you're weed eating, and all of a sudden you whack like grass? What are you supposed to do? That's what this smells like. I'm gonna dress you in a garbage bag one day and you're gonna look super sexy. I used to run in a garbage bag. <laughs> Suck your chin in, Lily. This is what I do instead of having a job. You look good. You lie. I'm not lying. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, I lost my balance. What? I lost my balance. Smell that. And that smells. Okay, well that smells like oil. It does smell and like oil. And all I got from that was hand sanitizer. You want me to put that in there? I want you to move. Thank you. Forgot how controlling you were. <laughs> you won't make that mistake again, will you? And you cannot be chewing on things that make tons of noise. I thought we were on board. Okay, I understand now. Okay. Looks like termite crap. It does look like termite shit. <gasps> Next time you nope. buy a house, you just <laughs> throw this all over there. Oh, you get some termites. <laughs> $10,000 right off the top. You have a spider on top of your... A spider? Yeah. A real one? Yeah. Is it on. living? I'm gone! <laughs> I have actually a whole skin planned out for this. Am I part of it? Yes. Am I doing it right? Nope. The sexy tablespoon. Sexy tablespoon. Come on, just make it go up. Come. I didn't do my workouts for a long time. It's One, working two, just fine. Everybody, welcome to Oh, a. sorry. I was practicing. Now we need a bowl. Pick it up. Oh. Okay, just I'll do it. You can do the dishes. No. <laughs> I did it last night and I cooked dinner last night. Uh, no. I did the dishes last you night. And I cooked no, dinner last I night. No, I did the dishes last night. Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> you cooked some rice and we had leftovers. We had sushi last night. That was not sushi. That was all me. That wasn't sushi. There was wasn't sushi even bowl? seaweed included. You took a picture and posted it. There was just tofu. Tofu poke bowl. All I'm saying is that it was great not to cook, but you can't, you can't do this overlord like I do so much. I built that. You did do that. Oh, we got problems now, man. <laughs> yeah. While your bread's cooking, you can also have a domestic disagreement. And watch out, I'm gonna do the dishes. Where's the dish? No, I got it. No, I'm doing it. You're gonna have to fight me for it then. <laughs> I'm doing the dishes.